Hey YouTube, I'm back and I'm going to do a tutorial. I figured I might as well. So that'll be three that'll be going up soon. One is like super duper long, but basically this is kind of like a go-to look that I kind of been doing and I'm going to call this video call. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to call this tutorial, I think, bad to the brown. You know how they say bad to the bone. I'm just going to be bad to the brown because like all the colors I'm going to use are basically browns. So let's start with the eyes. One of my favorite brown colors that I've been using on my eyes comes from my Smashbox Full Exposure Palette, with which I love for every day. I cannot speak today. And I use this shimmery brown color right here, and I just apply it all over my lid with this fluffy brush. And I've just been loving this brown color. I just think it looks great. It complements everything. It doesn't clash with anything. It just looks awesome. And I love that it has a little bit of shimmer to it. So I have literally been applying this all over the lid. Up until the crease. And then I blend out the edges with the same brush. Like so. I also take a little bit on the bottom lash line of my eye and into the inner corner of my eye. Basically all over the eye you just want this shimmery brown color. It looks super super pretty and really just adds a little bit to your makeup look. I've also been loving brown lipstick and brown lips that whole like 90s trend so I'm also going to be incorporating a brown lipstick into this look that also has a little bit of shimmer to it I feel like this is like a really nice simple classy look that I can do on a daily basis or on the days when I be, want to be a little bit more dressed up because I've actually been just going without eyeshadow and just doing like mascara so this is like a go-to look for when I want to be extra and do the same thing apply it to the bottom lash line I'm just using the same one brush one eyeshadow just makes things super quick super easy And because it has so much like sparkle to it, it really just brings attention to your eyes, which I love because I love my eyes. And just make sure that you blend out those edges. All right, so once you do that, you're done with eyeshadow and you can apply eyeliner if you want to, a winged liner, but I'm not gonna do any eyeliner. I literally just do this and then mascara, but I'm not gonna do that on camera to save time. So let's go on to lips. The brown lipstick, one of the brown lipsticks I have been loving is from Milani. And it's in the color 38 Double Espresso. This is what the lipsticks look like. And as you can see, it's a nice brown color. I'm not sure if you guys can see it on camera, but it's almost kind of like a metallic-y brown. I also love Milani lipsticks because they're very moisturizing and creamy and they smell good. They all smell awesome. I hope I don't have to play trombone today <laughs> in one of my classes. So you can see that instantly just like added a little more elegance and effort to my look. 
If you're interested in what's on my face, I just did a first impressions. I'm doing a first impressions on the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, which is the foundation that I am wearing. And I set that foundation using my Black Radiance powder in Bronze Glow. That's the color I wear, Bronze Glow. And I have nothing else on my face. No blush. I've actually, I was really into blush for a little while, but now I'm kind of into just the no blush look. So if you want to add blush or winged liner, you do you or contouring or anything. I've just been foundation, set it with a powder, brows, eyeshadow, or no eyeshadow, mascara, definitely, and then lips. Very simple, straightforward to the point, and I really, really have been liking the way that this looks on me, how it photographs, and just... I've been receiving a lot of compliments, so sometimes less is more and simplicity is key. So that's it for this video. I guess I could apply mascara on camera since I do have some extra time and um, like this is a very short video on this look. Like it's really simple, really, really fast. So like something you can do in 15 minutes. So the mascara I'll wear is going to be from Maybelline and it's Push Up Drama Mascara. I, also, I recently did a review on this as well if you're interested. So this is the push-up falsies, the falsies push-up drama mascara. I'm just going to carefully apply this to my lashes, trying not to get it on my lid. And I'm going for a very uh, natural lash look. I don't want it to be too much. I just want them to be there. So that's good for that eye. And I'm actually not going to dip it back in again. And I'm going to go straight to my other eye. Because this can get clumpy. Watch my review about it. You'll learn all about it. I really do like this drugstore mascara though. Like a little bit goes a super duper long way. I feel like this tube will last me. Like the full three months. You know how they say, you know, only use your mascaras for three months? I feel like this one actually will not dry out. Like it will last three months and I'll have plenty of product left over, but I'll have to throw it out for, um, you know, um, sanitary reasons. And that makes me happy because it's going to last. It's worth the $7.47 or whatever I paid for it. Something like that. I think that's right. It's in my review. And so basically I'm just kind of shaping my lashes the way I want them to be shaped. I'm actually about to meet up with Jackie in 45 minutes. So I'm going to read my article, like read through some the article. I have, I have an article to read. I have this assignment I have to do. So I plan to just work on that until um, about... 9.50 and then I'm going to walk over to Starbucks to meet up with her so I can get a little bit of reading done before I meet up with her and then hopefully I'll have a little bit of time after class to respond to the questions but first I'm just going to read make notes and as you can see like one dip into that tube can do your upper and lower lashes for both eyes so it's like some powerful mascara and that's why I say don't double dip because it will get clumpy if you do. I always used to think it was funny when people were like, you can't put on mascara with your mouth closed. Yes, you can. <laughs> you can't do mascara and talk. Uh, yeah, you can. My stomach is growling. I'm excited to have brunch with her. I'm gonna get a bacon, egg, and gouda, and probably a vanilla latte with extra vanilla because Jackie put me onto that drink. But yeah, my stomach is growling. So this is me just being a perfectionist. You guys know how I am. About getting it just right. Getting the look just right.
Okay. So this is the completed look. Like I said, I can do this whole face in 15 minutes or less. And you just change the lip color or you can just change the one eyeshadow that you want to use. But it's super simple. I think it's just really nice and just... I don't know, I just think it, I just look, I feel like I just look more put together with just one eyeshadow, mascara, lipstick, foundation, powder, and brows. That's all you need. Really simple, really straightforward, something anybody can do, especially if you're a woman on the go and you're really, really busy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. And this is kind of like my everyday makeup. I just change out the colors. But yeah, I hope you guys like it. Again, I'm going to have a full review on this foundation in a week or so. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for your support. Thank you for watching. Bye, YouTube.